Hi everyone, welcome back for another case. My name is Dr. Iyer, I'm with Residence Medical, and we have a new interesting high yield case for you. So let's get started. We have a 28 year old female who's presenting with a new couple symptoms. One is she's having vaginal bleeding. Two is that she's having right lower quadrant abdominal pain. Uh, it's very new and very painful. And third is that she missed her last period. She's been having sex with a new male partner for the past couple weeks, and she's also not using condoms consistently. She has no other medical conditions or no other medications that she's taking, but she does have a previous history of an appendectomy. You see on the image below that there's an ultrasound here with a very high yield thing on the ultrasound. Do you know what the diagnosis is? Also, based on the diagnosis, what's the treatment? What are the treatment options that we have? Comment your diagnosis below, like and follow, and come back tomorrow for the answer. Were you able to figure out what the diagnosis was? I hope you were. The answer to this case is an ectopic pregnancy. An ectopic pregnancy means that the fetus, which is the combination of the sperm and the egg, when they unite, usually it traverses the fallopian tube and goes into the endometrium of the uterus to implant. But the problem is, in this case, it gets stuck in the fallopian tube. And the fallopian tube is very different from the endometrium. The endometrium is very thick and is designed for the implantation of the fetus. But the fallopian tube is very thin, so it's very easy to cause lots of pain and lots of issues. And if it ruptures through the fallopian tube, it's now inside of your GI area, in your peritoneum, which is the open area around your GI tract. So it can be very dangerous very fast. So knowing this, this helps us differentiate between very severe and very mild ectopic pregnancy. A mild ectopic pregnancy is when you have less than five centimeters in size of the mass, is when you have less than 10,000 beta HCG, you have no hemodynamic instability, and lastly, is that you have no peritoneal signs and you have no like, fluid in the peritoneum or any kind of major issues like that. On the other hand, if it's very severe, it's the opposite of those. You have a greater than five centimeter size of the of the tubal mass, you have greater than 10,000 beta HCG, you have hemodynamic instability, and you can have peritoneal symptoms such as rebound, guarding, and fluid accumulation. So the difference in treatment is that if it's the mild version, you give methotrexate, and that'll resolve the issue. But if it's very severe, you need to do something called a laparoscopic salpingectomy. And what that means is they do a laparoscope, cut out the fallopian tube with the fetus growing in it, and then solve the problem. But it's only necessary in severe cases. I hope you learned a lot from this case. I look forward to seeing you next week for another.